Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. Well, before we go into the Jade Temple, I do want to uh, go ahead and equip the Ring of Repulsion. I don't think I'm going to list it in the video description, because you may not be done with both the Ring of uh, Water and the Ring of Four Winds, but since I am, I figure I might as well equip it. Still gotta work on the Ring of Forest, though, and I'll have to replace the Ring of Repulsion with the Ring of Jade once I get that, but I don't have it yet. Now, once you enter the temple, that's it. It's a point of no return. So make sure you've done everything you want to do in Arenia. Alright, let's head on in. Okay, I'm back, and, uh... Let's summon the Celestial Samurai. And take out these two soldiers up here. I'm going to have the rest of my party take out him. And I'm going to have Fleece take out this guy with a nice trip backstab. Well, if I can get trip backstab. Unless, of course, I can get, uh, you know, instant death to work. It's pretty rare, but... Of course, when Fleece can't do her job and trip the enemy... Alright, we'll just do a regular backstab. Level 10 trip. Not working for me today. Now once we get across these buildings, turn around. There's going to be more guards. You guys go over there. I'm going to take out this one. And now go ahead and equip the spine splitter back. Because we have a boss battle coming up. Might as well go with the strongest weapon we got. Plus, it's got more backstab, so why not use it? I want to identify that ring of control. Hopefully, I don't need a thief's gloves on for that. Yeah, it gives you some push, kick, and trip skill. It's totally useless. At least, the way I've developed my characters. Oh boy. It's Ghost and Tiger. They're exactly the same as before, uh, just a quick refresher. Ghost is immune to ice, vulnerable to fire, weak to pierce. Tiger is strong against slash, weak to energy and blunt. And they both are pathetic, so let's just take them out. Alright, let's go ahead and hit blind on Tiger. And then focus on getting trip on Tiger Rider. If I can. I may not even need to. Tiger Rider is still just as weak as he was when Fleece and Joseph fought him, so yeah. Against four characters, not much to really do. Or he doesn't really stand much chance. And Ghost is the first rider we fought, so he's not much of a threat either. Wow, I didn't even get backstab off on him. Yeah, they're pitiful. Phoenix and Serpent were way harder. But anyway, uh, Tiger Rider drops the Horseman's Plate Mail and the Bow Cote. The Bow Cote isn't terrible as a arm gear. But, uh, our Steel Gauntlets are better than that. I think they were also sold at, uh, Wolong. Horseman's Plate Mail. That, uh, has equal defense to the Chainmail Tunic and the Chainmail Leggings. It's lighter. Sells for a ton of money, as you can see. So, feel free to sell it. Uh, you can use it if you want on Jakar, but... Then you lose the plus 10 AP from the Hero's Chainmail, so I say stick with the Hero's Chainmail. The Ghost Rider drops the Hellfire Necklace, ups Dark and Fire skill. Could be useful for you if you wanted to use that, but I don't really care for it. Necklace of Stealth, Sneak and Hide up, 
again, pretty useless at this point. Uh, the Bokote you could use because it is lighter, I think, than the Steel Gauntlets. I forget exactly, but... Yeah, it's lighter, and it ups your, I think, piercing resistance. So you could use it, but eh, I don't really care for it. I'd rather have the defense. Besides, I farm those steel gauntlets. I want to make use out of them as long as I can. Oh, he dropped a fell staff. Awesome. Yeah, no new enemies here. It's all enemies that we've fought before or could have found in a random encounter or whatever. The Og Mages, they don't have any strengths or weaknesses, and they have so little HP. I wouldn't bother with trip or backstab. We're already at the end of the area, believe it or not. Somewhere on the right side here is going to be a chest that we want to get. Here it is, a tablet. Let's go ahead and uh, identify that. It's the Kasani map. We will need that for a quest that I don't think we have yet. I don't think we can get the quest until Chapter 3. But it causes some items to appear later on in the game that we need. Whatever, you need it for something. It's related to a quest. I forget exactly which quest. There might be another Og Mage around. I forget. No. That's it. You think Morad would be more heavily guarded, but... Well, he's not. But there he is. Go ahead and make a save. Before we go up to him, head over here, let's get a Steel Core Bogado, which is worse armor for Joseph. I don't know why you would ever use that, it's full body armor, but the chainmail stuff I got on is better. You know, Murad has quite a bit of HP, let's see if I can poison him. Why not? I want to go behind uh, Murad's throne because he's got two little Og Mages that are supposed to be part of the boss fight, but I can just run up and kill them from behind, so... Yeah, kind of silly. You could have re-equipped the Kishin Impaler to take them out, but... Nah, I figure I'm going to fight Murad very soon anyway. And I want the Spine Splitter for him. Alright, Poison, I'm actually gonna try and use ya. If you can actually Poison Murad, maybe you'll be worthwhile. I guarantee you he's immune. I never tested that, but I figure... Why not? I would suggest just using the Celestial Samurai, but I want to go ahead and experiment a little bit. Go ahead and save. Okay, I'm back and uh, yeah, poison doesn't work. I probably should have known better. So I'm just summoning the Celestial Samurai back. And a word of warning, the Celestial Samurai tends to glitch out texture-wise in this fight. It'll start flashing on you and it's annoying. So, just a fair warning if you have seizures. Alright, let's enjoy the best voice acting in the game. The summoner has returned to Ela. No prophecy will deliver you from my wrath this time. You will die here, before the Jade Temple, before the very altar where the prophecy against me was uttered. 
I shall prove to these meddlesome priests that Murad, third emperor of heaven, fears no man! All you have done to silence the prophecy, Murad, has made it come true in the end. By this hand, I will crush your tyranny. The true heir of Orenia's throne has returned. <laughs> the true heir of Orenia's throne. The rightful head to wear this crown. You see how pathetic you are? Orenia matters not. A wasteland of stone and dust. You can have your pitiful throne. Your friend can wear her crown as she pleases. But I shall become the lord of all creation! Okay, so first things first. We want to, uh... Get Faith going. All he does is cast magic attacks on you and paralyze you. If he paralyzes you, you're going to want to uh, remove that. That was weird. Rosalind didn't draw her weapon, but that's alright. Now once you target him, the AI will track him. And he'll, uh, well, they'll follow him around when he teleports. Uh, he's immune to silence, so really just focus on landing a trip. And a backstab, or let the debossers get him if you get lucky. And backstab him. It might take a couple backstabs, or not. Okay, now we get to fight uh, Oni Murad. Let's start with a nice protect spell and get blind on him immediately. There we go. Once he's blinded, you're going to want to uh, keep your HP high, so don't be afraid to spam vitalize and hit him with backstabs. I want to get uh, Empowerer going now. On... Fleece, that'll help out her. Yeah, he's glitching out now. That tends to happen. I don't know why. It almost always happens in this fight. Just something you're going to have to deal with. He's got a ton of HP. He's also immune to Analyze, so I don't know what he's weak to or strong against. Same with his human form, by the way. Meteor Storm is also pretty good there. But for now, we got the Ring of Jade. Let's go ahead and equip that right away. If I can find it. Can't identify anything right now. Since Joseph's the only one in the party. That gives us access to the Jade Golem Summon. It's similar to the Golem Summon, only it has an attack called Jade Beam. Which is not too useful. Uh, it's like a non Well, it is. It's a non-elemental attack, but I hardly ever use it. Actually, I think it's maybe... No, I think it is the Dragon of Four Winds that has the non-elemental attack, not the Jade Dragon. Or maybe it's both. I forget. Anyway, that's a hundredfold katana. It's the... Well, now I have to find it. It's the best two-handed sword that uh, Fleece can equip. It's pretty fast, too, for a two-handed weapon, so... 
I'll want to give it to Fleece uh, eventually, but not for a while. And that was dropped by Murad's human form. I think it's not a guaranteed drop, but it's pretty damn close. And this is the uh, Neruva Sarum Tome. Uh, you need to get this in order to complete another quest. It's actually part of a quest that does not appear in your quest log. But you need to do it in order to fight, I guess, the game's super boss. So make sure you pick that up as well. Let's go ahead and cast Regenerate, just to regenerate my health here. Let's talk to everybody. That was the final boss of Chapter 2, by the way. Yeah, Chapter 2, much shorter than Chapter 1. Yeah, we still have to deal with the demons. So I guess we'll have to go back to Medeva to deal with them. Plus there's Sornahan and Galleon, huh? Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah, we already know about Ruka capturing the demons and dragons. Actually, didn't that Tiandi guy... I think that was his name? Yeah, yeah, he, uh... Killed Ruka and then captured the dragons instead. Sounds like a plan, Rosalind. What do you got to say, Fleece? <laughs> that is kind of ironic. What do we do now, your highness? Oh, that's right. How will we stop the demons? How can they help us? The rings are gone. Well, hopefully. Why would we be in danger if we went back there? Oh, yeah, we did destroy the rings. They might uh, think that we betrayed them. But how do we get to Medeva? Oh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. What do you got to say, Jakar? Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, because of Yago. Yep, and then Joseph summoned the demon. Yeah, you gotta, you know, put your hate on somebody. I mean, he was the only one left to really focus on. Cool. Jakar's over it now. There's other people you can talk to, but... Not really important. They don't say anything particularly interesting. But we do want to talk to Ganji over here. And I want to save just in case I select the wrong option. So yeah, this guy's looking for the dragon scales, but I found them. Select the second option to actually give him the dragon scales. And you get the Dreadblade, which I don't think I'm going to be able to show you because I think I have to identify it. It's a powerful two-handed sword, just know that. I'm not going to use it, but if you're using two-handed swords, it is perfectly viable. It's actually really good. Anyway, here's uh, Kifang. What are we going to do now? Oh, right, we have to take out the demons. We kind of already figured that out. Yeah, no Murad means uh, no more alliance.
Well, at least we took out Pajian. But how will we get there? Oh, so you know a way. Well, we're not going to leave yet. I'm just going to end the episode here. So yeah, we've uh, defeated Murad. Saved Arenia. And all that's left now is to... Uh, take out the demons and save Medeva. Well, there's Sword of Hand and Galleon as well. I will be taking off a week before starting uh, Chapter 3. But for now, this is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.